an innocent man. This was Bill Roach in the final scene of his very own real-life drama. Accompanied by his family, he spoke publicly just minutes after he was cleared of rape and indecent assault charges. First of all, thank you to the jury for a speedy recovery. And I'd like to thank all those who've supported me during this situation. First and foremost, ITV Granada, who I thank them for their loyalty and their support all the way through. In these situations, there are no winners. And I think we should all be much kinder to ourselves. So now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to work. Thank you. I bet they don't eat in the shirt sleeves either. Well, what do you mean? Oh, I've been noticing you looking at me. Bill Roach was there at the start of Coronation Street in 1960, but it was claimed just a few years after that first episode he was using his popularity to exploit youngsters. In court, his Coronation Street colleagues lined up to defend him. He was always a perfect gentleman, according to Anne Kirkbride, his on-screen wife. Chris Gascoigne, who plays his son, said he was decent and kind to everyone on set. And Helen Worth, Gail for the last 40 years, called him the father figure, the elder statesman of the show. Yeah, of course, come in. Good night. Today, Charles Lawson, who played Jim McDonald in the series, told Channel 5 ah, News of his delight awesome. at the verdict. He's handled himself with great dignity and, and he's been calm, collected and shown great maturity mentally and emotionally. And, um, but that's what we would have expected of William Roach. No, no different, no, nothing different from what we would have expected. This is Granada Studios in Manchester where Coronation Street was filmed for more than 50 years. Bill Roach was accused of approaching a 14-year-old girl here in the 60s, leading her by the arm into the gents' toilets and indecently assaulting her. Roach was accused of assaulting two other teenagers inside Granada. Another said she was attacked in his car. In court, he said offences like that were not in his nature. This letter and signed photo Roach sent to a 14-year-old was shown in court. The note ended, write to me when you start school again and tell me more. Love, Bill. Jurors agreed with Mr Roach's assertion that it was an innocent comment made to a fan. Another woman claimed she was raped twice by Mr Roach when she was 15 inside his bungalow in Lancashire. He said it was nonsense. The jury believed him. Several of the women came forward after this interview last year. Roach appeared to suggest sex abuse victims were paying the price for their actions in previous lives. Victims bring things on themselves. Is that what you're saying? But, but, no, not quite, but and yet, yes, I am, in that we, everything that happens to us to, is, is been a result of what we have been in previous lives or whatever. He apologised shortly after it was broadcast. Corrie's longest-serving resident hasn't been seen since this appearance last April. Now he reminds me of <laughs> my bald head. Look at the Viewers were later told Ken Barlow had gone to visit a relative in Canada. Oh. Now Bill Roach can make a return to the Rovers' return. ITV says it's looking forward to discussing its future plans with him. Well, Bill Roach stood in the dock awaiting his fate and it felt like the most dramatic episode of Coronation Street you've never seen. As the foreman of the jury returned those six not guilty verdicts, he was remarkably composed and showed absolutely no emotion. Uh, his family, however, in the public gallery were completely overcome. And when others started applauding and broke the court's rules, uh, the judge rebuked them. And Julian, you've been speaking to one of the former Coronation Street stars who gave evidence. Yes, Kenneth Cope was in Corrie intermittently through the 1960s, playing a character called Jed Stone. He was called as a defence witness last week uh, because a woman who was 14 in 1965 uh, says that he walked in on her and Bill Roach in a dressing room at Granada. Now, Mr Cope uh, today told us that was complete rubbish and he can't believe those accusations were ever made. I was very, very surprised, basically, because I didn't, from what I knew about Bill, I didn't know an awful lot about him, except I worked with him many, 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 many years. I was surprised. I didn't think he was capable of doing it, you know. Um, and I was half watching them when they were going out and half reading the press and stuff, because I just didn't think it was true, that he, would, he wouldn't have to. Bill attracted all sorts of ladies, many ladies. You could have the, the pick of, you know, grown-up women without having to resort to, to kiddies. There was no need for it. 
And I just, to be quite honest with you, it's easy talking now because we know the verdict. I didn't believe it. I don't think I believed it at the time. And um, uh, I certainly don't believe it now, obviously, you know. A woman said in court that when she was 14 in the 60s, yeah. in 1965, she was taken into a dressing room with Bill Roach and that you opened the door of the dressing room and, and saw the two of them in there. Yeah. There's a lot wrong with that, if you don't mind me saying so, because I wasn't in the show in that. She said May 65, I think. I wasn't in the show for a whole year in that, that year. And I would have to have a hell of a long neck, because I've got an idea. I was in Yugoslavia doing Genghis Khan on the horseback and stuff. And I would have to have a long neck to open this door and look around it and stuff. And you'd never do it anyway, because it's just, it was just etiquette. You never went to anybody's dressing room, because you only had them on a Friday morning till you did the recording, then you went home. Then all the sets came down. Rose was there and came down, everything came, disappeared because there was a small studio and they had to use the studios for other things. And it would never have happened. I would never go to anybody's door. I said this in court actually, said that in court. I didn't see any schoolgirls at all. And anyway, I wasn't there. I was out the country or in London or whatever. I was nowhere near Granada. How did you feel to be mentioned in this allegation? Angry, very angry basically, because very quickly because the, the policeman came round and we, he was nice, as I said. And um, I told him I'd check with Granada, the legal people, and I rang them up and they came back two or three days later and said 1965, which is the date the policeman was talking about. I wasn't in the show, you know. And we went back in time uh, with my wife and tried to find out what I was doing. It was either Date Like Diamonds, uh, which is about Radio Caroline or something, uh, and or, you know, uh, Genghis Khan, which I'd never been able to do if I'd have stayed in the street because you just got typecast and that was the end of it, you know. And Julian, all his co-stars stood by him throughout the trial. How have the police reacted to this verdict? Um, a very straightforward response from uh, Lancashire Police tonight. They stressed these were very serious allegations. They quite simply uh, had to investigate them. Uh, the Chief Crown Prosecutor for the North West, uh, Nazir Afsal, has made similar comments. He said the CPS has a duty to listen to allegations and assess the evidence. He says uh, no matter who makes the complaint or who the complaint is against, he has denied previously that these are celebrity witch hunts. But that is how Bill Roach's legal team in court described his last nine months. Julian, thank you very much.